Hello friends, this is Mansi Mukherjee. I'm a PhD research scholar and you can read a little about me here. And let's begin with the first lesson with the basic teaching methodology of learning life as lively as possible. So today we'll be studying a phenomena of nature called symbiosis. It's a natural phenomena where there is a close association or relationship between two or more organisms and they are definitely of to be two different species. It can be of plant and plant, between plant and animal or even between fungus, other sites of microorganisms, any types. So we'll be studying their types as well. So the three major types of symbiosis are mutualism, commensalism and parasitism. In mutualism, both the partners are benefited. As you can see in the example here, A and B, both are being benefited. And then under commensalism, one partner is benefited, whereas the other remains unaffected. So neither harmed nor benefited. So you can see, if a species A is benefited, the other species B remains unaffected. Whereas in parasitism, one is benefited and it's called the parasite, whereas the other is harmed called the host. This is an example of mutualism where you can see lichens. These are an association of fungus and cyanobacteria or algae, which produces nutrition for the fungus and the filaments of the fungus produce, provide protection for these cyanobacteria. So they live in harmony. This is another example of mutualism, wherein this green field I approached, I could find a beautiful yellow flower. And if you take a close look into the flower, there are wasps and a bee that is taking nectar, so benefiting in form of nutrition. And in course, these pollens that attach to the feet of these wasps can be taken to the next flower helping in pollination. So both are mutually benefited. The next type of symbiosis here is commensalism. As you can see in example, this is a neem tree and which is being used as a support for growing by a vine of jasmine flower. This vine you can see is winding itself upwards to find support and this does not harm the neem tree or neither benefits the neem tree. The third type of symbiosis is called parasitism. Here you can see the leaf is totally distorted by forming galls. These galls, as you can see upturned, are formed due to infections by the parasites or the fungal infection. They help in getting support and protection whereas the leaf is totally harmed by distorted shape and obviously loss of nutrition. Here is another example where I found a tick from the skin of a goat and this tick takes nutrition from the goat by sucking blood. So the goat loses nutrition whereas the tick gains nutrition. So winding up with symbiosis, thanks for watching.